Welcome back, Tater Tides, to my channel for a new episode of the K-Drama Legacy Generation 1 Fisherman's Daughter, Episode 15. So in the last episode, we met two new characters, so let's go ahead and take a look. First, we have Jiwoo Kim, and she is the personal assistant to the Park family, so she's been with them for a really long time. Then there's Eugene Park, and this is hyung -sik's grandfather, and this is his mother's father. So now let's do our quick recap. So Yuna flew out to where Hyung Sik lives and was greeted by Jiwoo Kim, who escorted her to their not-so-humble abode. And Yuna was shocked to see the mansion that they live in. And so that night, Hyung Sik surprised her with a visit and some stargazing and a movie. And the next day, however, she did have a bit of a rough conversation with Mrs. Park, where she kind of warned Yuna about the party and for her not to make fools of them. And later on, while Hyung Sik was at work, Yuna and his grandfather went out and decided to purchase, well, he decided to purchase Yuna a dress that was fitting for the party, and that is where it leads us to the start of today's episode. Throughout the rest of the week, Hyungsik and I were able to spend a good amount of time together, but there were definitely days where he had to stay at the office longer. The times we did have together, they were worth every second. I just felt so happy. Mrs. Park wasn't home very often. She was always at the office or off at meetings elsewhere. But when she did come back to the house, it was quite late and she would head straight to her room. Mr. Park said it was perfectly normal for her. After all, it takes a lot to run one of the best groups of hotels. I did have to say, that was something I could respect about her. She was definitely someone who was motivated, determined, and not afraid of hard work. However, at the same time, it made me wonder more about Hyung Sik's childhood growing up, and how lonely it must have been if she was as absent then as she was now. He didn't seem terribly bothered by it, but it was still in the back of my mind. The day of the party arrived, and I was feeling nervous. Hyung Sik would already be at the venue, as he had to greet the guests on behalf of the company. His mother would arrive a little late since she would be finishing up the loose ends of a contract they were getting signed off on. That just left me, Miss Kim, and Mr. Park. The three of us would be driving there together, Miss Kim as our chauffeur, and Mr. Park as my escort into the party. The dress Mr. Park had gotten me was gorgeous. I'd never worn anything like it. After all, I could never dream of affording a dress like that with my budget. He spared no expense. Even a makeup artist and hairstylist were brought over to assist me with getting ready. I literally felt like royalty. I came out of the dressing room to where Mr. Park and Miss Kim were waiting for me. I laughed lightly. <laughs> it's not too much, you think? Mr. Park smiled warmly at me. Not at all, my dear. On the contrary, you look stunning. I think my grandson will be greatly pleased. With that, he turned on his heel and headed towards the car. I could feel my face flush slightly at the thought of hyung -sik. What would he think of me when he saw me like this? My thoughts were interrupted as Miss Kim ushered me outside. The venue was absolutely incredible. I'd never been to a place like that, let alone a place decorated for such an extravagant party. I followed Mr. Park as we arrived at the entrance. Everyone knew who he was, so no invitation was needed for him. The man at the door stopped me for a moment, but Mr. Park quickly winked and said, She's with me. The man immediately backed off and motioned us inside. I was blown away. The chandeliers, the music, flowers, buffet tables, amount of servers. It was crazy. I couldn't believe that this was so normal for their family. I literally felt like I was some alien visiting from outer space. I continued to follow Mr. Park as we made our way over to a group of men in business suits that were chuckling. I could hear him clear his throat and motion towards me back behind him. That's when I realized the man he was talking to was Hyung Sik. He turned around quickly, his eyes wide as he caught sight of me. I could feel the burning in my cheeks rising to the surface and prayed that no one could see it. He walked forward, grabbing my hands. Yuna, you look beautiful. I laughed embarrassedly. <laughs> it's all right, I guess. No, it's more than that. 
I think the people here would agree with me. That's when I realized a lot of eyes in the room were on the two of us. He leaned a bit closer, speaking quietly. Hey, don't concern yourself with them. They're all just curious since I'm the son of the chairwoman. After all, you're the first plus one I've ever brought. I appreciated how he was trying to ease my mind. But knowing that made me even more worried. It made me realize more of what Mrs. Park meant when she told me to know who I would be with and representing. Any misstep, and it could fall on Hyungsik. Just then, the attention was pulled away from us as they announced the arrival of Chairwoman G.U. Park. As was usual, she looked incredible. As terrifying as she was to me, I had to admit that the woman was the definition of class, confidence, and power. She made her way over to where we were standing and stopped in front of us. Well, well, so the island girl can clean up well, can she? Mom, Hyungsik said sternly. His mother looked at him. Don't fret. I'm simply giving her a compliment. She passes for appearance. Now, let's see how she keeps up with everything else. With that said, she walked off to chat with another group nearby. Hyungsik turned to me. Hey, don't worry about my mom. She's always particularly more stern when it comes to events like this. After all, some of these guests could be big deciding factors in our future business endeavors. I nodded my head. Just then, a group of girls around my own age came waltzing over to the two of us. Hyungsik? Oh, we've been waiting so long to see you. We've missed seeing you around. One of the girls giggled and placed her hand on Hyungsik's arm. I've missed playing tennis with you at my father's estate. After all, you're the only one who's been able to make me break a sweat. Me too. I miss our tutoring days. All those late nights and the books brings back memories, doesn't it? The girl eyed me curiously, giving me the up-down as she spoke. If I wasn't feeling uncomfortable already, then this was definitely the moment. These girls seemed to have spent quite a bit of time with him, and time alone at that. Once again, I was feeling doubt creep into my mind. Hyungsik brushed the girl's hand off and wrapped his arm around me, pulling me close. Those times were only necessary as per the request of my mother, so for me personally, I don't feel I've been missing much. Besides, there's someone else I'd rather occupy my time with. I couldn't believe what he had just said, and said out loud at that. I could feel daggers from the other girls cutting into me. I was feeling embarrassed, happy, shy, and shocked all at the same time. Without hesitation, he grabbed my hand and pulled me away in the opposite direction. He walked me outside of the main banquet room and into a side hallway. Looking at me seriously, he said, I know what you're thinking, and I don't want you getting any wrong ideas. Those girls, they're just daughters of some of our business partners, and our parents made arrangements for me to help them with different things. I simply did what was asked, and nothing more. Nothing happened with any of them. I stared at him in surprise at first, and then chuckled. <laughs> Youngsik, it's fine. I'm okay. Though, I appreciate you telling me. He smiled. Um... Also, you look really handsome tonight. For the first time, I saw a slight tint of pink on his face. He scratched his head and let out a sigh. Oh, you... You make it really hard for me, you know that? I didn't know what he meant when he reached forward, grabbing me gently, and kissed me. In that moment, I knew I would be able to make it through this party. Well... Hoped so, anyhow. Yuna is currently coming over to get a drink at the bar, and it looks like both Miss Kim and Mrs. Park are also having the same thoughts as Yuna. So our girl, she's just trying to get something. But I will say, since I updated my game and everything with that whole big update and patch, it has been kind of like where my sims like take a hot minute to decide what they're gonna do. And so, yeah, this girl is really pretty though. Lily Brownin, like girl, you are gorgeous. She's like not a crazy looking like random townie, but I don't know if she's gonna be able to get her drink because they're all just sitting here and staring. So that's not really <laughs> going very well.
So I brought these two upstairs to the banquet hall to see if we can perhaps get them to flirt a little bit or dance, but it doesn't look like anyone is wanting to dance. It's saying that they have to have music playing nearby, which I do have music, so I don't know what's going on. And of course, I don't know why they have to go all the way downstairs to do whatever they want but let's just pretend that they're having a nice little chit chat she's like how's the party going young sick and he's telling her it's been pretty hectic and crazy you know just been greeting all of my mom's friends and business partners <gasps> that's that girl yumi Oh no, she might be following Hyung Sik. Oh, she's got her eye on him, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, they they went down separate places. Okay, sure, whatever. But yeah, Hyung Sik is a little bit exhausted having to do all these like business casual conversations because you know it's just kind of annoying to him to have to like butter people up in a way and so Yuna gets it but he's like thank you so much for coming you do look absolutely stunning and gorgeous I'm so happy to have you here with me and I'm just so grateful that you're willing to come out she's like of course I would young sick like I I wouldn't miss it and so he's like sorry once again about people like just don't worry about it just be yourself you're with me that's all that matters don't worry about these people they're like a whole nother class so just don't even worry about them and so that does make Yuna feel a bit better because she knows that she's not like she knows that he knows <laughs> that this is a world that she is not really accustomed to and you know that's okay it's not really her cup of tea and he totally gets that it's not really his either but he just does it because he has to and guys look at this like nobody is doing anything <gasps> This is like making me really upset. Like I had people doing stuff like at the house when I was there earlier and playing off camera. So it's like really agitating that nothing is happening. Like, are they just going to stand here all night? Like what an uneventful party. I am so sorry, guys. Like this is not how I intended for it to go. I was going to have them like try to have, you know, drinks and have a good time and dance with their friends, but obviously it doesn't look like that is going to happen. And all the people that were here have like all left. Oh my gosh, someone finally got a drink. So, okay, we finally have some flirting going on, which is good. Ooh la la. After being swept off her feet by Young Six flirty advances, the Una feels like the birds are singing a bit sweeter and the sun is shining a bit brighter. How romantic. So, of course, yes, she definitely feels that. But they've had a little bit of a conversation. Our girl really needs to use the bathroom. And, oh, perfect. There is a bathroom right here that is very convenient. Honey, go potty. Don't embarrass yourself. Yourself. So it looks like Hyung Sik is also letting our girl know that he has to stay till the end of the party because he has to say goodbye and see off all of the different people that they have invited him and his mother do. So she is going to be going back to the house with Miss Kim and Mr. Park. So yeah, she's sad that she has to leave him, but she totally gets it and understands. So thankfully, you know, I think things will be going all right if they will move oh my gosh like do i need to just reset them constantly this is really annoying like let's reset sim okay go to the bathroom honey like just go use it this shouldn't be that complicated is she gonna do it oh my gosh no she's not i feel like i almost shouldn't even record this episode because of how things are just going like look at this nobody is doing anything Yuna, Mr. Park, and Miss Kim have gotten back to the house and I'm thinking guys that what must be going on is because that lot is so intensely big like there's so many details. I even took out a bunch of stuff from the gallery build but I think it just like really messed up the interactions because everything's working fine in this house. So anyways I'm gonna have Yuna come over here because she is gonna have some calming chamomile tea with his grandfather and they're gonna have a little chit chat. He wants to talk with her for a little bit. So she's like, hey, so how do you think things went at the party? And he's like, you know, honey, I think they went really well. Honestly, there's nothing that you need to worry about. Things went really well. And you know, I think you made quite the impression. And Yuna's kind of surprised. She's, really? 
what kind of impression? He's like, well, you know, I heard lots of people talking about you, mostly good things, of course. And, you know, it kind of sits in her mind and resonates that like, oh, he said mostly, mostly good things. So, you know, that basically means that um, it's not all fantastic things. <laughs> so, um, but he's like, you know, honey, you did well for especially not ever being in any kind of event like that and not knowing really what to do. You know, it's, you did amazing and you, I think, made a great impression. So I really wouldn't worry about it. There's always going to be people that talk bad about you behind your back and some people are just jealous and other things like that. And, you know, you're the newcomer, so people are going to talk. And so he's like, you know, don't don't stress out too much about it. Just go to sleep. You know, Hyungsik and Miss Park will be back very late tonight since it is already like 4 a.m. and they're still not here. So she's like, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your support. And he's like, of course, honey, I'm going to get some shut eye myself. So we're going to go ahead and head on to bed and hopefully see our boy in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Yuna has had a really fantastic night of sleep in this gorgeous bed. She is feeling really good from it. And Kyungsik, what are you getting a call from? No, I mean, you can't hang out with us. We are in a totally different location, and that makes no sense. But it looks like our boy Kyungsik is still. Um, oh, I was trying to figure out what that noise was. She's just enjoying some gaming, I guess, over here. But Hyungsik had such a late night, he didn't get home till about 5 a.m. So poor thing is still sleeping. It looks like Mrs. Park is already up and at it. She had a really weird dream. So that's lovely. Also, I wanted to tell you guys that while Yuna was at work the other day, we got this notification that I'd never seen. It says, a work rivalry begins. Oh, Yuna can't stand. Elia Cruz. Whether Elia knows it or not, it's the start of a workplace rivalry. Yuna won't be able to earn promotions until this matter is resolved. She can try befriending or sabotaging Elia at work to remedy the problem. Meeting up after hours is also an option, whether she chooses to be friendly or try more creative solutions. So she has literally like an enemy at work and I found that to be really interesting and so I have had her call a few times this Elia person so that we can try to um, become more friends with them. We found out that they're a foodie, a vegetarian and cheerful work rival. They don't get along in the workplace. They're disliked, but I want her, it's not like Yuna to try to be enemies with someone. So I'm going to have her try to befriend her, which we've definitely got to do because, oh my goodness, we need to get promotions. Like that's not acceptable. So anyways, that is just something that is currently going on. It looks like Hyungsik, we're going to go ahead and get him up for the day and have him use the bathroom because today guys it's gonna be a great day because our boy Hyungsik has the whole day off isn't that right that's right Hyungsik oh my goodness you need to shave I didn't even know okay well we can have him take care of that too he will shave his facial hair and it looks like Mrs. Park is going to go eat some of the French toast that our girl made for breakfast, which is really great. It means, you know, she don't want to admit it, but she has to, she has to secretly that Yuna, she can make good food. Oh my gosh, now our girl's up here just getting her groove on, dancing with grandpa, because it's just one of the things that she does. And <laughs> so Mrs. Park is like, oh, good morning. But look at her slamming the door. Must I mean, I think she like got most of the deals she wanted last night but I think she's also just agitated about something going on I don't really know so we'll we will have to uh, figure that out maybe she doesn't like all the loud music in the morning but we'll try to come over here and chat we can I guess figure out differences so Yuna's like um good morning Mrs. Park how did the rest of the party go she's like oh well, things went fine. We were able to do what we needed to. You seem to be enjoying yourself. And Yuna is just, uh, yeah, I mean, I did have a good time. I really appreciate being allowed to attend the party. And she's like, you know, if it made my son happy for now, then I'm fine with it. So, I mean, I think that that's good. You know, things seem to be going all right between the two of them <laughs> at the moment. So, oh, look, she even made her laugh. Oh, way to go, Yuna. You're making some some positive 
impressions. But anyways guys, I wanted to go back to the whole thing with the party. So I'm so sorry that that didn't work out because I had so much more planned for the episode for being at the party and they were gonna have some drinks together, get a little bit tipsy, they were gonna explore the chateau, maybe have a little, you know, one-on-one -on -one in some of the rooms together. Not like that, they're not at that stage yet. But you know, a good little makeout sesh. But obviously that didn't happen, so that is unfortunate. But we can just pretend so yeah we can just keep that in mind and then of course that they were able to slow dance to the classical music because a pianist was supposed to come and play and it was going to be really romantic and then all of that just fell apart so yeah I am so sorry let's just use our imaginations that things really worked out I'm always so scared that I'm going to disappoint you guys with my episodes so like I put a lot of effort into them and I'm feeling so let down and disappointed right now because that was going to be such a big part of this episode so I am just I'm so sorry guys I really am. Hyungsik came upstairs and basically told Yuna hey we're going out today I have the day off and I want to spend it with you and I want to treat you today so Yuna was so excited and look at this adorable cute outfit our girl has yes boots these skinny jeans her sweater <gasps> she looks so cute we don't ever get to see her in winter type clothes because she lives on an island where it's always hot and look at our boy he's got his fancy shoes and like his coat and his sweater he'd be looking so cute but he has decided that he's gonna treat our girl by taking her here to the local spa this is the spa that his mother loves to go to but he wants to treat Yuna he wants her to feel relaxed and enjoy herself so we are gonna go on inside and see what we can get done he's gonna change into his robe and let me show you guys the interior of this place because it is absolutely beautiful and incredible like I am so in love with it we've got like a little bit of a gym here this is the changing room and the showers you've got a fun little sitting area like a juice bar here is the back patio deck with like the beautiful little chairs and if you go upstairs we have more this is where our massage rooms are I love the flooring in here all the Zen vibes you've got like a hot tub and then if we go up to the next floor there's like a little yoga kind of meditation calming room up here and even better oh my gosh I love this with like the waterfalls and if you go to the very bottom in the basement look at this oh my gosh is this not the coolest pool you've ever seen like it is so cozy like I want to go to this place myself and look there is a sauna so why don't we have them go and relax in here together do you why are you calling hey honey it's mom when are you gonna come oh my gosh he's like mom seriously um I can't but it was nice talking to you I'm out with um you know let's just pretend she was kind of trying to bother him about like excuse me um, are you gonna come to work today? He's like, Mom, remember, I have the day off. I'm spinning it with you and So she's kind of agitated by that. But you know, it is okay. Look at our girl. She looks so cute. Here comes Young Sik in their robes, enjoying the sauna. And she's like, this place is amazing. He's like, I thought you would like it. But there is something I need to tell you. And Yuna's, you know, thinking that she's all relaxed. But he's like, um... I actually have to stay for a few more days before I can head back to the island and Yuna's pretty disappointed to hear this but at the same time I mean she gets it she knows that he's busy and so she looks at him all concerned and she's like are you sure you're gonna come back and he's like Yuna I promise I'm gonna come back I'm not gonna just not like I mean yeah I've got work and things but I'm gonna come back and see you and it brings her a lot of peace and comfort to hear him say that but it doesn't mean that you know she doesn't feel somewhat concerned still like it's always a thought in the back of her mind like what if you know she leaves and then he just gets caught up with work and then someone else comes along and he just forgets about her and so our poor girl she's so cute I mean look at her little face she's just over here like oh my gosh is it just me? I mean, I know it's hot in here, but oh my gosh, Young Sik is so hot too. Oh my gosh, I hope he doesn't sm I don't smell. And does he think I look too sweaty? Is my makeup coming off? And let's take a look at what Young Sik's thinking. 
Oh, he is just relaxing, enjoying, you know, taking some deep breaths here. I think we'll have them go ahead and finish here in the sauna. They are feeling really good from it. They could take a little dip together. That could be cute. But I think we're going to have them come upstairs and get massages because that is like our next step. So he is going to get a massage. We'll have him do... Um, He's gonna get a deep tissue massage, and then I think for our girl, she's gonna get a massage, a Swedish massage, stone massage, aromatherapy. We'll get a mm, lotus blossom aromatherapy massage from Sunki. So yeah, hopefully this will go well. Oh, they've got the little chairs over here too. I didn't even see that. So hopefully they'll get up here in just a minute. And oh, it looks like there's even a yoga class out here. I didn't even see that part when I was showing it to you guys. <gasps> That's adorable. I love that. Like, let's look at the view. Gorgeous. Look at these red fall trees, the water. OMG, there's some shopping and little restaurants down there. <gasps> oh, there's so much going on. Look, she's literally reading a book because there's nothing else for her to do. So it looks like Hyungsik is already up here getting his massage. So he is feeling very, very relaxed. And our girl should be making her way up here. Here she is. She's like, oh, he already beat me to it. Oh, dang, Hyungsik. She's getting you good over there. But this girl, oh, look at her cool henna. So she's like, all right, honey, I will take care of you. You just relax, take deep breaths. And oh my gosh, this relaxes me. Like I've been so stressed this week with work and the thought of being able to get a nice massage and just relax like this. Oh, it's just, that's a really, really nice, enjoyable thought because I love me a good massage. I rarely get them, but when I do, Oh, I almost fall asleep. <laughs> but anyways, so they are just trying to enjoy some last quality time because tomorrow Yuna is going to have to start getting her stuff packed and ready to fly back home to Solani. And of course her mother and father are so excited. They miss their little girl and of course her mom wants all the deeds. She's like, oh my gosh, did anything happen while she was there with her and Hyungsik? Because her mom has no idea that they're like together. But, you know, she's got her suspicions and things. But, all right, Hyungsik has learned that Gio has the following skill, wellness. Well, no wonder, genius. So we'll go ahead and let him come over here. And he will get a foot massage from Chocho. Choco, Choco Cho. <laughs> so he's just going to get the full treatment. Kakere Shimizu. He's actually kind of cute, too. He's got interesting... Um, style. I don't like just the sideburns not going into a beard. That's kind of weird. And Yuna, we will also have you come and can she get a foot massage too? Is there anyone else that can do foot massages or is that the only one? Oh, that's sad. Look at him. like, oh girl, you picking his toes? That's kind of gross. But our girl, can she join the yoga class? No, it is too late for that. So maybe we'll just have her come and get herself like a drink over here, order a drink. What kind of a drink could we get her? Um, let's see. No, not like any kind of alcohol. Like we don't want any of that. Uh, spicy hot chocolate. Uh, I mean, she could do that. I think that's cute. She's going to get herself a hot chocolate because I don't know what she's... Oh, a healthy green tea. Of course she was. But she's like, uh, I need something kind of warm. I'm feeling pretty chilly, actually, because it is like winter time here, guys. Okay, it's fall, but look how cold the temperature is. So she's wanting to feel nice and warm and cozy and toasty. So, you know, I feel that. And so, girl, where are you going for your drink? Girl, come back. Oh, it looks like she's going around behind the counter for some reason. Look at the cute little mug. Oh my goodness. And Hyungsik, he has finished his uh, hand massage there. So it looks like he is feeling really good. We have Soulful Rub. Hyungsik's souls have been felt that good in a while. And deeply relaxed, ooh, soothed fully into submission. A cliff face of relaxation emanates from your person. And how is Yuna doing? Confident aroma. The mere scent of lotus fills the nasal passages and mind with confidence. 
and sorting out problems. Sometimes all it takes is a little open communication to discover why a sim might not appreciate another sim's company. That's right, because she was trying to figure out her differences with Mrs. Park. So it is in the evening out here and look at these adorable street lights. Do you guys see this? There's like little moths flying around them. Like look how cute that is, that ambiance. I love it so much, that is so cute. But I think we'll have the two of them come out here to be together, just to be alone. So I'm gonna have them try to flirt a little bit now that they're super relaxed from their massage. And he's like, how did you like that? And she's like, it was amazing, Kyungsik, thank you so much. Like, I never dreamed that I would be able to get treatment like that. And he's just, he's so happy. He's like, you deserve it, Yuna. You want me to just get a few last kinks out for you? And she's like, oh my gosh, thank you, Kyungsik. That felt so good. And oh my goodness, look, she's feeling, or he's feeling very confident. And it looks like they just got a sentiment deeply connected. He has a powerful bond with Yuna that is a source of strength and comfort that is absolutely perfect. So let's see if we can get them to do just a few more things. Affection. Um, no, we're not going to do all of that. But let's see if we can go ahead and he can caress her cheek. Let's see if he's willing to do that. And if we can do anything else. Oh, she did accept it. OMG. Hyungsik has become overwhelmed with romance lately and feels a compelling desire to embody the essence of a love bug. I wouldn't say that he's necessarily a love bug, so I'm not going to really worry about that one. But because I feel like they fall too easily, and I don't think he does fall crazy easy for people. Um, and I want to see if we can have him kiss her. I haven't added in all like my more kisses mod <gasps> because, um, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure everything works. And OMG, they are feeling so into it. Hot and heavy. Yes. So I think we're going to go ahead and head them back home because head them back home, send them back home. And that way we can have them spend, you know, I think they're going to get a little last minute snuggle together. They just got home and for some reason his mom is hanging out in his room, which is just like not acceptable. She needs to get out of there because he is inviting Yuna to come and have some bed snuggle cuddles with him because it's just what our boy wants to do. So we're going to just let that happen. So if his mom wants to watch TV, she can go watch it upstairs because we don't need any of this nonsense. So he's whispering, hey, do you want to come to my room for a little bit? and Yuna is like uh, absolutely and she like can't believe it because she's gonna be back in his room and they watched a movie in there when she got here the first night and so it's just oh she's feeling all the butterflies and giddiness she's like what's gonna happen is anything gonna happen like anything more she's like I don't think I'm ready for that like oh my gosh like I'm feeling so much pressure right now but at the same time I'm not and look at them they're so cute oh boy and he took his shirt off for it <gasps> OMG let's look at these two are they not the cutest I love them he's like I'm really gonna miss you when you leave and she's um, I'm gonna miss you too young sick are you sure you can't go back at the same time as me and he's just He's so happy to hear her say that, but he's like, I can't, I, I really have to help my mom. There's just a few more business things we have to sort out and all of that, but I'm going to come back. You promise? Absolutely. Of course I'll be there. Just a few more days. And she's just so happy to hear that and spending time with them. She loves how warm he is and cozy. Her heart's beating so fast right now. And so is his. And, you know, our boy's not going to lie. He kind of would like to have a little bit more. But, you know, he's not going to push the agenda in all of that because he doesn't want to make it seem like, you know, it's her like last night there. And then he sends her off like after like progressing in the relationship, if you know what I mean. And so he wants it to be really special and he doesn't want it to be here in his house either <laughs> because it's not very romantic to him. So anyways, so we're just going to let them keep having some cute, cute time. Can I wish they could like go to sleep cuddling. <gasps> 
Yes, can they do that? Go to sleep cuddling girl. Yes, sleep in his bed for tonight. Can you two do that? Cuddle in bed. More choices. Okay, so we're going to cuddle in bed with her again. So come on, get back in that bed and get back to cuddling because I wasn't done. So level up. Oh, he's reached level three of the romance skill. He can whisper about desires. So okay, that could come in handy later. Oh my gosh, this Reaper's Reward thing needs to just stay wherever it's at. So okay, let us... Okay, where's that option? I want that option to come back. Go to sleep cuddling. There we go. Are they going to fall asleep now? <sighs> Let's watch. Is it going to happen? Oh my goodness. They're getting so sleepy. Oh, how cute. Let's look again. Yes, they are so cute. Yuna's like, are you sure your mom's not going to come down here? He's like, my mom doesn't come down here. Like, to my room for no reason she's got plenty of other things to be worried about plus this house is huge i don't think she's concerned about that and let's see what is his mom doing she's up here in the kitchen i feel like she's cooking up something but let's have her go ahead and come over and talk to the grandfather because she needs to talk to him about some of the deals that are going on so let me give you guys just a little bit of background here so you're probably wondering like okay well if their last name is park wouldn't that have been his dad's last name so it actually wasn't his dad's last name park is his mother's name and this is her father so they are the park family and what happened was when hyung sik's mother married his father he actually took on her last name instead of the usual <laughs> because she's just not one to do that and they're so proud of the park family name so that is kind of what happens so that's why his last name is and her last name are like the same and i hope that makes sense what i just said but anyway so he used to be like really big into different types of businesses eugen park here and so he hadn't run like had hotels before but he had other businesses and so she was very familiar with like business running and things like that and then she went to college to get more about it and oh to the relief of their co-workers the rivalry between yuna and alaya is no more and the path to promotion is clear great news because after all that yuna surely deserves a raise Ooh, I feel like I didn't really do much but that's awesome <laughs> so back to what I was saying so that is why um, do you I need still need to change that because I put peak instead of park <laughs> But anyways, so when she ended up going to the island and meeting Hyung Sik's dad, her previous husband, um, he shared with her his goals of wanting to have a hotel and all of this stuff. And she fell in love with him and stuff. You know, we don't really know the, their whole love story, but it, it was something that really resonated with her. And she was like, well, I know how to run businesses. So... And um, that's kind of how that whole thing got started. So her father, Mr. Park right here, Eugen Park, he was very familiar with the business side of things, as I said. And so he was a big key in getting started with everything. And he was always down for like good business ideas. So, oh, Miss Kim, she's so exhausted, poor thing. And oh, these two look like they have woken up from their cuddle. So before anything else happens, let me have him come and embrace her because he's like, Yuna, I, I really do care about you a lot. I'm so glad that you came here and I don't know what I'd do if you didn't. I am going to have him confess his attraction to her to see if she'll like it. Look at this little dog just going on by. He's like, I'm super into you, Yuna. Like, you're beautiful. You're gorgeous. I love your personality. And it looks like she really liked it. So I think that she accepted his compliment so i couldn't get anything else to happen but our girl is really stinky so we're gonna have her no honey you are gonna come over here and i think we're gonna have you take a bath soak with some rose petals i want you to feel really relaxed and good because she does have a flight to catch a little bit later today and so since young can't take her to the airport which she's sad about you know because he does have to go into work um miss kim will be dropping her off and i think her 
uh, his grandfather might be going to, he isn't quite sure yet, but Miss Kim for sure will be the one to do it. So, but it, her flight isn't until a little bit later in the early afternoon. So they have just a little bit more time left. So Hyung Sik is just kind of trying to relax, enjoy himself before he has to head on out. Looks like grandfather, I don't know what he's doing over here. He wants to be friendly with the assistant. And then Mrs. Park, she is catching some shut eye. So yeah, she is going to be reporting a little bit later than Hyung Sik, but that is okay. So look at them. Oh my gosh, they are so alike. She's over here getting their groove on. Gramps has reached level two with the dancing skill. Hyung Sik is probably about to reach another level. I don't know what his level is. And oh, relationships. <gasps> Let's look. I want to see what this says. Because since I got love struck, I'm still trying to figure out how this all works. <gasps> soulmates two sims one heart yes good compatibility they are best friends i love that and young six romantic feelings satisfied he's satisfied in his romance with yuna improve this through romantic interactions that cater to each sims romance style turn ons and avoid their romance style turn offs also be mindful not to be mean or violate any romantic boundaries so I love how this is neutral. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to make this like the way that I want it to be, <laughs> if that makes sense. And so, okay, that is what he thinks about her. And let's see what she thinks on this side with him. Yep, soulmates, best friends, all the same things there. So, okay. And what does he like? He likes homebody sims, okay. And then I guess on her end, he, okay, so she likes baking, fishing, cooking, and fitness, conversation topics, likes complaints, flirtation, deep thoughts, silly behavior, jokes, and affection. She likes spirited sims and likes island music, which makes sense. Oh, and he just became good friends with his grandfather, which I sure hope they would be. So in thanks for, of course, everything the family has done for her, Yuna is going to make another breakfast for everybody that they can enjoy and have leftovers. So our girl's going to come up and do that. And then she's just going to, of course, make sure she cleans her room and washes her sheets, gets everything all prepped and ready for the next guest, even though she's pretty sure they have a maid that does it all. But, you know, that's how her parents raised her, is to make sure you take care of things. Don't leave a mess behind for other people, especially when they've allowed you the kind of staying in their home so I totally get that and appreciate it so um, I'm sure that they do too and she's hoping too that it'll make some kind of an impression on Mrs. Park because we still don't really know what she thinks of us fully we just feel like she is annoyed by us <laughs> that's about like all Yuna can really gather from it but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and let Yuna keep doing her thing she's gonna get a few goodbye kisses from Kyungsik before he leaves of course he's over there getting himself all pumped up he's honestly probably trying to calm himself down from the thought of how they were cuddling last night and then they fell asleep cuddling and it's just whew, our boy is like he's real hot and bothered so he's trying to calm himself down and oh miss kim's getting her groove on too now so anyways yuna is like yeah i'm making breakfast for you guys i hope you'll enjoy it and his grandfather is so grateful for that. He's like, I haven't really enjoyed your cooking. I think you're just as good as any hired chef and all of that, which she really appreciates that comment. Oh my gosh, our boy couldn't take it. He's like, oh, did I forget my shirt? And she's like, oh, hi. Like, look, she's literally staring at his pecs. She's into it. I'm telling you, she, she can't look away. But anyways, I think this is a good point for us to end the episode. So thank you so much, Tater Tots, for joining me on a new episode of our K-Drama Legacy. Once again, I'm so sorry about the whole party situation and how that did not go the way that I wanted but I hope you still enjoyed the episode and the story so if you aren't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button let me know what you guys think and leave that comment hit that like button and make sure you uh, stay tuned for all the future episodes so thank you once again tater tots and I will catch you next time see ya Cause